distance now it should be good. The sharp shaped earrings are swinging. Sharp shaped earrings are swinging to and fro. Who is beautifully shining in the divine realm of Goku, who due to the offense of breaking the pot of yogurt that his mother was churning into butter and then stealing the butter that was kept hanging from a swing, is quickly running from the wooden grinding mortar in fear of Mother Yashoda, but who has been caught from behind by her who ran after him with greater speed. To the Supreme Lord, Sri Dhammaja, I offer my humble obeisances. Seeing the whipping stick in his mother's hand, he is crying and rubbing his eyes again and again with his two lotus hands. His eyes are filled with fear, and the necklace of pearls around his neck, which is marked with three lines like a palm gel, is shaking because of his quick breathing due to crying. To the Supreme Lord, Sri Dhammaja, whose belly is bound not with ropes, but with his mother, pure love, I offer my humble obeisances. By such childhood pastimes as this, his drowning the inhabitants of Gokula in pools of ecstasy and is revealing to those devotees who are absorbed in knowledge of his supreme majesty and opulence that he is only conquered by devotees whose pure love is imbued with intimacy and is free from all conceptions of awe and reverence. In great love I gain offer my obeisances to Lord Dhammadara hundreds and hundreds of times. O oh Lord, although you are able to give all kinds of benedictions, I do not pray to you for the good of labors and liberation, nor for the highest liberation of eternal life in Vaikuntha. O oh Lord, I simply wish that this form of yours as Balakopala and Vrindavana may ever be manifest in my heart. Thousands and thousands of other benedictions are of no use to me. O oh Lord, the Lord's face is concerned by love. O oh, Anvimanit Vishnu, O oh Master, O oh Lord, be pleased upon me. I'm drowning in an ocean of sorrow and I'm almost like a dead man. Please, shower the rain of mercy on me. Uplift me and protect me with your nectarian vision. O oh, Lord Amudara, just as the two sons of Kurera, Mani Griper and Nala Kurera, were delivered from the curse of Narada and made into great devotees by you, in your form as a baby tied with ropes to a wooden grinding mortar. In the same way, please give to me your own prema bhakti. I only long for this and have no desire for any kind of liberation. Sri Dhammadara, Hang Phan Phong, Ni Thu Phuk, Kwan Phai Chan Lang, Ni Sing Zi Deng Lai. Hang Ni Thu Phuk Deng Lai, Ta Si Zeng Go Yu Zhou Ge Gui Shuo. Hang Ni Zui Sun Ai Ge Shu Ma Ti Ra Da Ra Ni Deng Lai. Deng Bai Li, Zin Si Liu Mu Han Yu Lo Wu Dong Ge Zi Zhuan Zhu. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Chandra Balla Bhai 
So Uddhava coming to Vrindavan, of course, uh, Vrindavan's a village and people in the village, they know some outsider, somebody's coming from another place, you know, it's everybody in the village soon knows. And this visitor was no ordinary visitor because Uddhava was, he was already having the bodily features of Lord Krishna. He had achieved Swarupya Mukti. He was wearing the garland of Lord Krishna and he's wearing some of the clothes of the older clothes of Krishna. Hmm. Devotees can wear some of the old clothes from the deities sometimes. Hmm. When the Vishnu Jana Swami used to have some, he used to sew some of the deity's clothes into his cloth. <laughs> so Uddhava uh, exactly resembled Lord Krishna and all the people of Vrindavan were naturally uh, very attractive to he, to find out what's he doing here. So Uddhava first of all met with Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda. And Ma Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, Nanda Maharaj was Re rec recounting many of Krishna's different exploits which he'd done as a young boy in Vrindavan. And hearing all of these pastimes and being reminded of all of these things, Mother Yashoda, it was described here that Mother Yashoda, pour, her uh, tears poured from her eyes and milk flowed from her breast out of love. And Nanda Maharaj just describes that he, he was feeling extreme anxiety. And so then the verse, the, the, the chapter then goes on, we hear Uddhava, it says, Uddhava joyfully addressed Nanda Maharaj. And so we would wonder, how could he be so joyful in such a painful situation? We would think he should be consoling them and feeling sorry for them. But Uda was joyfully, <laughs> he's, he's, so, he's, so, he's so pleased to see this intense love 
which Nanda and Yashoda have for Krishna. So, uh, the, the commentary, the purport points out that on the transcendental platform, all different emotions are absolute. You know, in the material world, it's so different, you know, we, we lose something, we lament, we feel so bad. Oh, I lost my job, I lost my money. Or I lost my beloved, my loved one. But when the loss, when the, when we feel something in relation to Krishna, then this is transcendental. This is of a different nature. What we're lamp, lamenting in the material world is totally different from lamentation in, on the spiritual platform. Be because the lamentation which is shown by the devotees is simply extreme ecstasy. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not material. It's on the transcendental platform. And we see examples of this in Krishna's different pastimes here. We've seen it already. We've seen it when uh, the Kaliya serpent with Kaliya was fighting with Lord Krishna. Right? The cows were all afraid to go to drink the water from the Yamuna because the Kaliya serpent was there. And he was poisoning the water of the Yamuna. So Krishna came there and he dives into the Yamuna. And Kaliya serpent with all his hoods and coils, he binds up Krishna. And he is, he is holding Krishna in the bottom of the Yamuna. And Krishna was in the coils of the Kaliya serpent for two hours. And all the cowherd boys were watching and they were, they were what, what's happened? Krishna, Krishna is with Kaliya in the bottom of the Yamuna. Krishna must be dying, he must be dead. And Mother Yashoda comes running and she wants to dive in the Yamuna and she wants to try to save Krishna. And they have to hold her back. No, no, you can't go in there. So all the bridge passes, all the village is all there and they're all Krishna's in the bottom of the Yamuna is in the is held by Kaliya and everybody's on the bank of the Yamuna and they're oh Krishna oh no and they're all in ecstasy. Of course, it appears like they're lamenting materially, but actually it is ecstasy. This is the highest ecstasy, the greatest kind of ecstasy anybody can experience. <coughs> 
，呢一個係任何人都可以感受到最極度、最高度嘅狂喜。Young people, they, they take a drug called ecstasy. <laughs> you know, it's the, the perverted reflection of real ecstasy. It's a perverted reflection. It's not the real, the real ecstasy. But the ecstasy of the devotee in separation from Krishna, that is the highest ecstasy. Of course, Krishna was allowing the Brijbasi people to experience ecstasy in his separation. And he, after a couple of hours, then Krishna thought, okay, let them, let the, <laughs> I should get free now. And then Krishna broke, broke out from the Kalachis of Kaliya. Because he wants to relieve the, the devotees. From all of that intense ecstasy. And then again, when Akrura comes to take Krishna out of Vrindavan, then again more ecstasy. And the gopis are holding the horses and no no krishna can't leave vrindavan we're not going to let krishna go this is ecstasy for the gopis and for krishna also he's also feeling the ecstasy it looks like a very painful, heartbreaking situation. But actually, it's the highest ecstasy. Because for Krishna, everything in relation to Krishna is transcendental ecstasy. So Uddhava could understand this. When he came there and saw Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, how they were so much absorbed in Krishna, he understood, wow, they're so much, they're in ecstasy. So he was very happy to see this. You know, to see how advanced they were. Krishna had sent Uddhava there to Vrindavan to learn from these gopi, from the people of Vrindavan, how to love Krishna. Uddhava was Krishna's secretary. And he was a disciple of Brihaspati. Brihaspati is the guru of the demigods. But Uddhava also had taken the instruction from Brihaspati, so he was a very educated, very learned person. But his devotion was mixed with knowledge. So Krishna arranged that Uddhava could go to Vrindavan and learn from the gopis and the other people of Vrindavan what is pure devotion. Of course, we think 
oh, happy and being, you know, joyful, smiling, you know, that this is ecstasy, this is a happiness, this is... But it is happiness, it is ecstasy, but there's the other kind of ecstasy as well, which appears to be suffering. So when that suffering, that pain and heartbreaking is all in relation to Krishna, then this is ecstasy. This is pure loving devotion. Just like in the Shikshastika, Lord Chaitanya teaches us the, the mood of Srimati Radharani. In the final verse, Asalishya Vapadara Dampa Nastu Mamma Darshanam Marmahatam Karotu Va Yata Tata Vavidadatu Lampato Matrananatas to save enough. I know, I know no one but Krishna as my Lord. Even if he handles me roughly by his embrace or makes me broken hearted by not being present before me, but still he is my worshipful Lord unconditionally. <laughs> So, Lord Chaitanya is explaining that if our unhappiness makes Krishna happy, this is our happiness. So, these different incidents which we are describing this is actually Krishna's happiness, and this is the happiness of the devotee. Yeah, devotional service is also described in Bhagavad Gita. Lord Krishna says, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma. That devotional service begins on the platform of Brahma Bhutta, which is joyful. So devotee is naturally a joyful soul. One devotee came with this picture from Prabhupada. Oh no, no, it was a picture, some, maybe it was on the back of a book or something. And the devotee said, Prabhupada, you look very sad in this picture. Prabhupada said, yes, that was a moment of ecstasy. <laughs> so, we don't understand because we apply our material consciousness, our material thinking to these things. But when, these, when the activities are in relation to Krishna, they're automatically on the absolute, on the transcendental platform, and there's no question of uh, yeah, misery or suffering, although it appears to be. So we have to understand that everything in relation to Krishna, it doesn't have any material conception. 
所有嘅要明白到一切同 fusion 有關嘅事情都唔係物質嘅，一切都係喺靈性超然嘅層面。And so all of these activities with the devotees and how they're exchanging, how they're dealing with Krishna in these different ways, it's all ecstatic. We know that Krishna actually can never leave Vrindavan, although it appeared he was leaving Vrindavan. 不過我哋知道 Krishna 從來都唔會離開瑜伽文，但雖然表面睇嚟佢係離開咗瑜伽。But Krishna never goes out of Vrindavan, and they said after、uh, Akura came, then Krishna hid himself in the hearts of the gods. <笑> Krishna 點解會冇離開瑜伽文咧？即係當啊，烏達話嚟到阿酷嚟嘅時候 ，Krishna 匿埋咗喺啊酷奇嘅內心。So.、Uh, Trying to understand the pastimes of Krishna, of course, that is one of the qualifications to get out of the material world. In the fourth chapter, Janma Karma Chame Devyam Evam Yoveti Takvada Takvade Ham Punardhanma Neeti Mamiti Sorjan. That one who can understand my birth and activities, Lord Krishna says, if we can understand that these are transcendental, then when we give up the body, we never have to take birth again. So, this is a Main point which is made in, the, in this verse, in fact, this is the point that what appears to be material anguish, the pain of a pure devotee, is just ecstasy. Because the, 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 the pains of the devotee are only in relation to Krishna. It's all in relation to Krishna and Krishna's service. Just like we think there's success and failure in the material world. But in devotional service, there's no failure. The devotional service is absolute, and any endeavor for devotional service is glorious. We are always looking at things in material ways and calculating how well or how badly things have been done materially. One time the devotees put on a big program for Prabhupada and they rented this big auditorium. But then when the, on the night of the program practically nobody came. There were only a few people. So they said, "Prabhupada, we're sorry. We we didn't advertise it well enough. We didn't get so many people here for the program." Prabhupada said, "Oh no! Did, didn't you notice? Narada Muni and Lord Brahma were there. You didn't notice." 爸爸話：唔係啊，你睇唔到主 Brahma 同埋 Narada 喺度嚟咗咩 ？So, you know, the pure devotee he sees these things. He sees, he sees everything in relation to Krishna. That we have endeavoured to please Krishna. So there's no question of failure. 所以純粹奉獻者咧，睇咩都係喺誒絕對嘅層面嘅，喺奉獻服務係絕對冇失敗。Just like Lord Nityananda and Haridas, how they went to Jagai Madhai, and on the first occasion they had to run away. You know, they got chased 
their lives were threatened by Jagai and Manhai. So it appeared like they were they had failed in their preaching endeavor. But Lord Chaitanya didn't think it was a failure, rather the attempt that was glorious. Just like in Prabhupada's time, one point the devotees were going to Japan to do Sankirtan. And uh, they were doing book distribution and uh, you know they were collecting funds because at that time Prabhupada was building the temple in Bombay, Juhu, as well as Vrindavan. And you know there was there was no real funds in India, so the money was coming from Sankirtan from Japan. But sometimes the devotees would get caught, and the, the you know some policemen didn't like it. They get caught, and some got deported. And it even came in the newspaper, Hare Krishna deported from Japan. So some people, some I think it was even Prabhupada's god brother, one of Prabhupada's god brother, some people anyway, they were saying, Oh, this is very bad, this is not good. But Prabhupada but Prabhupada said to the, the devotee, he said, We went there, you didn't even go there. <laughs> he said, But at least we tried to, but we went there and tried to preach. You didn't do anything. You're just still sitting here in the holy dharm. And so this is Prabhupada's transcendental vision. There is no failure in endeavouring for Krishna consciousness. Okay. Any question, comments? Radha Krishna Prima. So nice guy. <coughs> Yes, Madhiji, Hare Krishna. Thank you for the lecture. Uh, you remind me, uh, once um, in Slovenia, in our temple, um, there was a Holy Name weekend, and one devotee came from India, from Mayapur, and he had a bhajan, and he was telling a story, and he was telling the story when Akura came to Rindava and took Krishna. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you need to translate, of course. Um, so, um, and, uh, but before Akura came, he was singing a song which Yashoda sang it, it for Krishna before he goes to sleep. And of course, because it was a holy name uh, program, we, we sang, sang with him. So we already knew the melody and he was like, one day he was explaining the whole day with Krishna. And then in the evening she was singing and everybody was singing like this. Hmm? Uh, no, no, uh, uh, Yashoda, Yashoda song. Yeah, she for for to, to put Krishna in, to rest. She was she she had some melody. Before Udawa came. No, Akura. Akura. Yeah. And then he was telling the then Akura came and Krishna left. And what did the devotee was everybody was so sad, everybody was so weak, everybody was crying, everybody was I mean, they wanted to leave the bodies, right? But still when Yeshua came home, even though Krishna was not there, she was singing and he sang that song. And all all devotees in the temple we were crying 
Mm -hmm. We were so crying, really. It was I was feeling like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but the question here I have, like you said, because we are from material, uh, maybe it was from material consciousness, I don't know, maybe it was ecstasy, but still, is it wrong to feel our emotions, which are on a material level, connecting with Krishna? <laughs> Oh, it's not wrong at all. That is the perfection of emotions to feel the emotion in relation to Krishna. It, it's our conditioning which causes us to think of emotions in relation with the body. Yeah, pure emotions are all in connection with Krishna. So, of course, we. You, you know, as you were describing, you had the opportunity to experience some pure emotion, some pure loving relationship with Krishna. Mm. Through the association of a Prajbasi person or something, you know. They brought yeah, the whole yeah, of Vrindavan there to you and awaken that consciousness. You should teach us. Wonderful. <laughs> 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 We are fully absorbed in that when we listen to this pastime, mm -hmm. full of love, devotion. Express your gratitude to your Guru. Hey,感謝馬哈拉大人的真的完全尋真有，每當係消息時光，每每度應該向Guru表達下佢嘅感謝感恩。係不是？ <laughs> 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 You cry, you can cry. Suddenly, you like, don't cry. 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 Don't c